in the kitchen now with one of our favorite at-home cooks. This is Tanya. Great to see you. You too. You too. Thanks for having me back. You bet. Yeah. Like me, um, Tanya is just a real mom in the trenches trying to get dinner or breakfast on the table for her hubby and kiddos. So yes. her recipes are real. We like that. Not mm -hmm. hoity-toity recipes. No, you know. my, my kids, my youngest, would not go for hoity-toity <laughs> at all. So this is it's a nice, easy make-ahead. You do it the night before. Let it sit for eight hours, stick in the oven, and 50 minutes later, you have breakfast. Perfect. That is yes. my kind of recipe. So it's a breakfast casserole mm -hmm. that we're making, and um, it's a sausage and sage breakfast casserole. And what I'm looking at is most of the ingredients we probably already have on hand. Uh, bread, eggs, cheese. The only ingredient you're going to need to pick up is this is sage breakfast sausage. Sage breakfast sausage. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is the sage flavor. Now, if you didn't have that, you could probably just use regular breakfast sausage and add uh, you could uh, use, some sage. You could, yep. yeah, yep. use either, I would go a little less on the, the fresh sage, but fresh sage is what I would recommend. Yeah, fresh sage it. makes all the difference yes. in the world. I totally agree. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get to browning this up. This, so this is one pound. Um, and if you're making this, a lot of times this breakfast sausage comes frozen, so you need to pull it out the night before, the, night before, the day before, let it out in the, in the yeah, exactly. It'll be good to go for the next day. Because you don't want to be going mm -hmm. to make this, and it's like this is frozen solid. So yeah. I'll get to work on that now. Okay. Um, so what kind of bread are we using for this? This is just a white bread. Okay. Just a white normal sandwich bread. bread. Sandwich bread. You're just going to cut it into cubes. I usually layer it like two or three pieces. I did notice, though, it's not the really, really soft, squishy stuff. It's more of a, a teeny bit firmer than the, the, the El Cheapo stuff. So maybe go to the bakery and pick yourself up a nice loaf of... Um, but very kid-friendly casserole. And Anne's all excited, too, because we didn't see any vegetables. We didn't see no any... You know, yeah, no <laughs> onions. So um, if you're having a breakfast or brunch and you've got picky eaters, this would be the recipe for you. And I also usually do buy the bread a day before and I let it sit. So okay. at least a day old bread. That's mm -hmm. a good one too. So just it's a little bit firmer. And just about one inch cubes. Okay. It makes a nice big nine by thirteen. Nine by thirteen. Okay. And you can snack on this for at least I do at least a couple of days. Oh, you know what? And I think that's a great <laughs> idea too. Um, if you've got a big breakfast casserole like this, it reheats wonderfully for lunch. It does. Um, or even for dinner. I mean sausage, eggs, cheese, uh, serve it with a nice salad or some fruit and there you go. And then you're going to want to spray your pan. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's and key. These breakfast casseroles can be uh, sticky, sticky. So the bread goes down. Ooh, bread goes down. And this is a must make ahead. I happen to love, like if we're going to, to church on Sunday morning and we want to come home for brunch, uh, you can get this out of the way on Saturday, you know, whip it up mm -hmm. quick and then just bake it off, um, you know, uh, in Sunday morning and you're good to go. You don't have to be fussing in the kitchen on Sunday. That's right. Other things to do on Sundays, yes. like what you know, get ready for the football game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then you're going to put five eggs into a bowl. Okay. Oh, I can really smell the the sage in this. I it know. Smells delicious. The first time I ever made it, I'm like, what a difference yeah, it is from yeah. just like the sweet regular right. sausage that you get. I mean, if you w didn't want to use sage, also you could do just a regular sausage if you liked a little bit more spicy, maybe even. Sure. Then you, yeah, definitely anything you want to do. You could add some more, um, you know, red mm -hmm. pepper flakes or whatever. But yes. I like the idea. I think I don't think sage is a real turnoff. Uh, I, you know, it's very. If you're into Thanksgiving, you're gonna like sage. So. Yes. And to that, you're gonna add a teaspoon of dried mustard. It's gonna give a little bit of a tang. Okay. Get your teaspoon of salt. I usually whisk up the eggs a little bit before I add the half and half. It makes it easier to do that, to start whisking the eggs, then add your milk. Or In this case, we're using our wonderful Lamer's half and half. You could certainly, I'm sure, use milk, but the, can. the mm -hmm. half and half really just makes it a little It's thicker special. and it makes a thicker bit of a yes, custard I agree. with the bread. Yep. It's just going to be two cups of half and half. Now this is a great guy's breakfast casserole too, uh, yes. because of the sausage and the cheese. My husband likes to put maple syrup over it. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I look at him like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm like it with syrup. I'm like, okay. Well, you know what? Because it's kind of got that salty and a little bit of the sweet. That's the whole thing of you know dipping sausage or bacon in syrup. Same type of thing. And that's it for the wet ingredient plan. Okay. And so then our once sausage the sausage is almost is done, done, I just want to cook it until it's um, crumbly and, and and no longer pink. That's the most important part, make sure mm -hmm. it's cooked really good. One of the reasons I love to entertain by having a breakfast or a brunch is um, a couple of reasons. One, it's way less expensive than having a full-on dinner party. It uh, is. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple of dishes and you call it a day. A yes. nice fruit salad, 
pick up some muffins or bake yeah. your own or, or some scones, um, you know, some coffee, juice, call it a day. The other thing is, is that we're all so crazy busy these days uh, that sometimes getting together on the weekends or in the evenings, you know, our calendar books out. Easy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you can just do a quick hour, hour and a half brunch with the book club or with your girlfriends mm -hmm. or, you know, with, with your relatives, then it's an hour and a half, everyone's gone, you've connected, yep. and you can go about the day. So exactly. it's a great way to entertain. And this, like, like you said, it makes a lot. So if you are having friends or family over, you can cut it into little pieces, and everybody's good to go and have some coffee going. And Perfect. Maybe some of those homemade scones that you're going to yeah, do. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> okay, so the really sausage good. looks good. Okay. So it goes right over the top? Goes right over the top of the bread. Okay. Well, a couple just, went over, yeah, over bread. Spread it out a little bit. That basically, yeah, Thank just you. like this. Then you're going to sprinkle on the cheese. You would think this would go on top, but once it gets cooked, but once it cooks, it kind of floats to the it, top. It floats to the top. Was oh, it um, about two cups of shredded cheddar Ten cheese? Ten ounces, which is about two cups. Okay. Yes. And then spread that out. And then yeah. the fun part, just really easy. As this gets poured over the top, let's yep, I just pour it usually. Sausage and cheese in there. Okay. Ooh, oh, that oh, one snuck out on me. <laughs> well, and that's. You've got to be careful. I, I do that all the time, too. Slowly kind of drizzle it yes. so it sinks in there. Try to get around all the corners so you don't really, really crusty. And you don't think, you think your bread's going to be mushy in the morning, but it really is not. Um, really the key isn't. with this is cover it. Preheat that oven. Preheat to uh, 350. And it takes a while to bake. About how long? 50 minutes. Okay. Just until the eggs are set. Okay. All yeah. right. So we've got some in the oven yes. right now. And the other key with this is... Uh, after we pull it out of the oven, let it rest before rest you cut it. Rest for 15 minutes before you cut it so everything stays together. Yep, and get a nice Otherwise, square. it's just going to go. Yep. It, it's not going to do what it's supposed to do. And remember to spray your foil before you put it on, that before you bake tip. it. Good tip. So spray Don't your foil. Don't ask me how I know, I just do. That is smart. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tanya, does that look good? And oh, then here that is looks your breakfast. Absolutely delicious. So mm -hmm. we'll wait about 10 minutes and, and let it uh, before we cut it. And Tanya's going to stick around and do breakfast on the go um, toast, egg, and ham cups that you can bake in muffin tins. I can hardly wait. Plus, homemade scones.